Hi everybody, and welcome to the ORE State of the Game. And the state of the game is... Damn fine. We're good? Oh, we can clean yeah. up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Um, hi, I'm Raya, in case you don't know me. I am uh, admin for ORE. I do all the logistics and the boring shit. So you normally see me at Troll. And... Uh, I am Odd. I work on uh, content and tournaments. Yay. Yay. That people clapping. All yeah. right. So um, to start this off, we're going to say a few thank yous for Honos. Uh, normally we have like a little speech. Happens kind of at the end of the event. Um, with three parties, it's hard to plan exactly when the hell you're supposed to do that speech. <laughs> so that didn't happen. Oh, we should talk about uh, how Honos was actually a 10% increase over last Honos. Yeah, it was. We actually so. had more people there. Um, Generally a smaller event, but more people came. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of cool because we got to try a lot of new things. Yeah, um, and you know a lot of the people that we see returning didn't make it, so we actually had a lot of new people, which is interesting. Um, I preferred Dark Tides was their first experience with us, but hey, well, you know. So, um, heard nothing but positive things out of the event, so that's a good thing. Um, next thing to do is, yeah, we'll move on to our thank yous to, because uh, normally, like I said, we'd be saying this to a bunch of drunk people at a party, um, but we'll say it here. So I'll start with the first one, which would actually be uh, us? our ORE members. <laughs> Let's thank us. <laughs> thank us. You're welcome. Um, um, the uh, the extended members of the ORE, there's a lot more people that you actually don't get to see who run around the back times. So people who do a lot of work before the event, but aren't as foots on ground at the event. Yeah. Um, prop making, helping plan for tournaments, sometimes just general labor. Um, a lot of people put a lot of work in, and to be honest, the list is the entire ORE list. So... You guys know who you are. Yeah. Um, I would love to go through this, but honestly, we'll bore the fuck out of people. So, moving on. Um, our next one is the freelances. Um, you guys threw a brotacular party. Like, that was amazing. Pretty it, fantastic. That was fucking awesome. Um, and then the other thing to thank for was uh, helping with uh, getting the walls taken apart and getting them together for the Thunderdome. Um, so that was great. You know, thank you guys. Um and then the last part is, uh, of course, Chango, our awesome head of security, had you guys run in security patrol, even during your own party, I noticed. So that was awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, and and Yeah, that means a lot that I don't have to worry at night what's going to happen to our player base. She worries at night. I'm more about natural selection. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, you can get the next one. Uh, Children of Morgan, uh, I'd like to also congratulate our newest sucker, or... Oh, our member Volk from the Children of Morgan for taking over our position as a uh, as as a head of weapons check. Mm -hmm. Eventually, hopefully, it'll be his job not to be running weapons check. Running weapons check. We'll be running weapons check, not doing weapons check. As we get volunteers, that's a thing. And remember that you can always Delegation. volunteer. For, remember, you can always volunteer at weapons check, and they'll give you the rundown, see what's going on. And uh, uh, I'd also like to apologize for Drek. For joining our team to be helping Volk and as a, a, a armor checker. Yeah. And then we uh, also have Tag, who is taking over doing archery checks. And and starting at uh, uh, it started at this event, which will continue on, will be mandatory archery classes yes. for everyone's safety. Because you'd be surprised how many new people show up, show up to an event and suddenly pick up a bow. And bows being one of the most dangerous weapons in Dagger here, that extra layer of safety is good for everybody. Yeah. So uh, moving on to, uh, well, this is going to sound really... Um, Meh. All right, hundred hounds because I happen to be a member. Um, you know, for the party and for helping with the field cleanup on Sunday, which is like the worst part of cleaning up anything. Legitly, <laughs> and, and, it's, and thank you guys for being Johnny on the spot. I asked, I asked one of you, and that person went off and got about like almost a de almost ten people out there on the field, and it made Mio's job a, a lot longer. Which is also another thing. Mio of Army of Mordor has been promoted to uh, field setup and teardown. <laughs> Poor bastard. Um, Anyone who feels like helping Mio, please help Mio. He puts in a lot of work and is bad for bad about asking for help. He is really bad about it. Um, so then uh, moving on to... God, I'm just thinking myself all over the place. Poisoners! Uh, <laughs> so uh, Wolf took over as our head of nightlife um, you know, for this event, and he'll be there for Dark Tides and probably for more so long as I can sucker him into it. So um, he actually you know, ran the Poisoner Bar on the last day of the event, um, 
which man the parties became like kind of calmer than just we're normally with our one party so i think that was a great success yeah actually it shows a great success of the event that our player base is deciding that they want to step up and create their own content as well yeah. which is always if you go to really large events is also a really big thing like the romans way back in the day used to have crucifixions war guards running their own thunder domes as well yeah. um Mirkwood for a long time ran mardi gras and that's actually not a sign of a great uh, a great unit but a great event yeah, and so, you know, if you guys are interested, like, if your unit wants to jump up, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but we would love, love, love for more participation to come Yeah, in. there's things there's things we can't help you with because of legal standards, but we will help when we can to make any party uh, be facilitated. Yes. Um, so another one to move on to is Siren and Poppy. Uh, I wanted to give you a shout out for the water heralding. That was awesome. You know, um, people always need water, and it's always been, like, kind of a difficult thing to figure out. Especially considering we have so much manpower, we need so much manpower to run our, run our events. Yeah. It seems that water heralding tends to fall at the bottom because essentially people are responsible for their own hydration. We just want to help with it. Yeah. Especially having a non orary group deciding to come together and organize something like the Cult of Hydration on the East to help water our fighters is fantastic. Yeah, so thank you guys on that one. Um, you want to take the next one? All right. Uh, we had an arts and sciences meeting uh, where we had a ra uh, round table talking about the future of arts and stuff. Um, Excuse me. At uh, um, at our events, um, a, a lot of stuff came from it. Yeah. Uh, you probably have a better memory on a lot of this than me. But uh, he um, was cooking dinner. I was cooking dinner, and I was really tired. <laughs> uh, hey, I had to feed the guy work in the field. Um, uh, we are going to start moving towards a hopefully for the most part more standardized uh, tournament prizes, which will be for arts and sciences. Yeah. At least the same quality of, uh, as our field fighting ones. Because that's how important arts and sciences is to us in the ORE. Yeah. Uh, Long-term viability of a culture has mm -hmm. to have things for your non-coms and your crafters to do. Yeah, so um, we, you know, we're kind of stealing this a little bit from like SCA and AmpGuard, who actually has a good built-up um, arts and sciences culture. And you know, it's kind of one of the things that, unfortunately, DAG has always kind of dropped. You know, non-com at one point used to be a dirty word. You know, so um, we kind of want to bring that up and elevate that and make it worthwhile so there will be a contest going on at dark tides which uh if you were at the arts and sciences meeting you know about it we'll announce it two months beforehand so that you have time to build for it but it's supposed to be a time challenge so that's why you'll find out about it then um the other thing is we now have a facebook an ore arts and sciences facebook so that you can kind of keep up with each other share what you've been making and everything so we can start to concentrate our efforts together to making arts and sciences as important as it should be so uh, after that, we've got... Um... Oh, we want to thank uh, Shots yeah. of Freelances for stepping up and running the or archery tournament uh, at the last time. Because of manpower, it kind of fell through the cracks. Yeah. Uh, and it also led to, I believe, Drode and Tag and you came together with the idea for a... Pro-bending. Pro-bending trademark that we do not them. own. Uh, a style tournament. I don't tournament. think the game is co copyrighted. The, the, Hopefully. There, there's, there's a game where you can professionally water bend. So no, it's not pro-bending. Yeah, no, yeah, it's not pro-bending at all. Um, kind of looks similar, though. <laughs> yeah, a triangle map where you may or may not be hitting people. Yes, so um, anyway. Which is a format we may use, uh, uh, to hopefully, in the future. Yeah. Uh, we are working on, right now, actually, uh, trading emails with the people uh, for medals for that. Yeah. Um, which will be explained more in a future video. Yeah. Um, next one is uh, Lothar for running a scrap leather class. I know you didn't have a lot of people, because, well... Um, battles ran really long which happens so that will be happening again at dark tides i know that the people that did show up had a good time with it and you know were really interested and uh lothar's more than willing to teach people some of his scrap leather armor um creating process so thanks to lothar for that and to chase the myth for giving us our belt um that we gave away for the champion of honos which was of course radza if you were there Motherfucking the horrible. diamond ring wearing yeah Rolex. Limousine driving. driving. Yeah. <laughs> Crocodiles everywhere. Oh, oh, woo! Um, so anyway, yeah. Thanks again for that belt. It was phenomenal. I know I had a lot of people drooling over it. So, um, and then, of course, that brings us into... Tournament Heralds. I'd like to thank uh, Mumbles, a.k.a. Brometheus of the Freelances again. They really stepped <laughs> oh, up this event. Um, uh, for getting with me and started and hammering out some uh, uh, better tournament guidelines and, and better ways of going about doing things. And him and uh, Logan of, I have no idea what realm you're in these days, uh, as well for being uh, um, my, my tournament heralds. And they were... Oh, I 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he goes by Logan Eustace. And, um, God, who were, there were others. I believe Grack and, uh, oh, Christ, there were three others. So, blame his memory, but thank yeah. you, you know who you were if you heard Yeah, the, so. the, the tournament heralds, and thank you for the high honor and stuff we had during the tournament, and everyone's patience for lear learning how it goes. We learned a lot when running this format, so we run this format again at Honos again next year. Uh, it'll be a lot easier, uh to record wins, losses, et cetera, et cetera, and who to find when you start reaching the end of your list. So thank you, everyone who participated. It was a super success. Yeah. So, um, and then lastly, you, because you actually are paying attention to this video. I don't know if you went to Honos or not. I don't know if you went to Dark Tech, but obviously you have some kind of interest in the things that we do. So uh, thanks to you um, for a minute. So now for giving, For actually taking um, times out of your jobs in life and spending your vacations with us, which is really what we view it as. Yeah. And we do view that the money that comes in from these events is still your money. We have to make this money work for you. Which brings us on to our first portion of the video that's not a bunch of thank yous. Segway! Yeah! Alright, so um, we put up a poll, well, Odd put up a poll, that we were talking about moving to $25 for an event. Um, which, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people kind of went, really, you're going to ask us. But yeah, the truth of the matter is we do ask you because you guys are the ones that we do this event for. And, com and compared to other events, we have a lot going on in our events. And we like to, well, I like to drastically aggressively approve. And Kay can vouch for me. I fight for every single dollar I can get my hands on. It is true. It is, it is sometimes actually a fight. Yeah. So <laughs> um, um, when it comes down to it, you know, I'm... I'm uh, it's she Pretty really shrewish. She <laughs> rarely says no. She says later, and I get tired of later. <laughs> yeah. So when it comes down to it, yeah, we we are doing fine on money. It's not like we need the money, and we, which is what we stated in that you know poll. We don't actually need a large quantity of money. However, it's going to move us faster um, because you know we are limited by budget, and I have to go no odd reel it the hell in a lot. Next year, maybe the year after that, maybe the year after that, and it's like. <laughs> I want our players to have these things now. <laughs> and, and you know, when I say real odd in, that doesn't mean the odd's the only one that this money would go to. There are other groups. Like, in, in fact, even Troll would probably get some of this money that would come out of this. In fact, it would. Um, so, but, you know, we had an overwhelming, yeah, why aren't you guys charging more? Which, we'll address that later. Yeah. Um, but, no, we're just going to move to $25 for the event. Because um, we understand that, you know, sometimes there's money issues. And we still do have ways for you to get in cheaper if you need assistance. If you're sitting there going, oh, God, they're going up by five bucks, which... Take us, you know, get in on medic duty. Get yeah. in on, you know, volunteering. You can, we will work with you if there is just some way. Though, I, you know, try not to be a bitch here. But if five dollars is your difference and I'm giving you six months of warning... You might need to work on some other things before you come to a DAG event, and that's not me being bitch. That's not me being. That's us looking out for you. Yeah, <laughs> DAG needs to be number two sometimes. So um, when this comes down, though, yeah, we are going to do the price increase. It looks like because we were last we checked, 122 people said yes, and then two people said temporarily, and no one has said no. So that's a uh, that's pretty good numbers. And actually, we were talking about that uh, a little bit before this video. That that actually that makes us feel really good because that's yes. that's a lot of consumer confidence. I hate to use business terms, but uh, it's that you guys literally trust us to give us more money, which is awesome because I want to build things. Yes. So um, it also came up, uh, thanks pickles, about the um, doing sponsored walls where we've got our walls now and possibly you could sponsor one. You know, and there was the notion of on the back you could put donated by or. On the front, being able to put your unit banners, and uh, we really like that idea. In fact, Odd is pissed that he didn't come up with that idea. So, um, I could have had a lot more stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> we're we're definitely thinking we want to do that. Um, what we're currently we're gonna work out like guidelines for it because let's face facts. Much as I like you guys, I don't need dick butt on like fifteen walls just because you felt like it. Jeez. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, you know, it'll probably be about $45 because we've figured out the cost is a little under 40 so I have to take out, like, fees for PayPal and such. We'll do is, what happens if, 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 if we're thinking what goes down right, you have to bring your paints to paint your own stuff on yeah. there, or we may paint a white something on it for you to paint. Yeah. And then we'll bring a sealer. So you get, you get in there early into the event. Like Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, paint your stuff, and then after, as soon as it dries, we come over with a sealer so it can be ready for Friday. And, um, you know, and then other people brought up, well, why can't I just donate? Well, um, there's been a really bad trend of people doing GoFundMes and DAG, and we don't want to be one of them if we can help it. Because, yeah, uh, 
everybody's looking for like money to pay for rides and such like that. I know we'd be delivering more than that, but it's a bad trend instead of, you know, DAG. And we don't necessarily want to be part of that trend. So it's possible we could set up like a donate button with PayPal where you can just click on it and you can put whatever money you want. And you don't have to have a PayPal to do that. You can just use a debit card. But that might be an option. The other option is we have a drop box on the back of our trailer and you can always just drop money in there anonymously if you want. Um, and if you write a little note in there and what type of thing you would like to see come out of that money, yeah. we will make sure it gets there. You're like, I want to see more NPC masks. I want to see a better NPC guard. I want to see more field props. You know, I want to see boats. I want to see ORE staff get drunk. That's our favorite. <laughs> All right, um, and then also, you know, money is not the only thing. If you've got stuff, I know, like, uh, somebody had mentioned they had um, some smoke machines, which that is always an option as well. Like, we're not above taking items. I can't guarantee that they'll be used. And we're not going to give them back. No, we don't take loaners. Um, because if we break something, then we have to replace it. We'd rather just have something straight out. Now, you could sell something to us at a discount, too. That might be an option. But it's not loaned. Um, that's, that's too much liability on that kind of thing. So, um, and just so you know, uh, if people do donate, if people do bring things in, we are not a play to win or pay to win kind of game. Um, we don't believe that just because you have more money, you should have more access to better things. Um, you know, we're, we're not a mobile game. We're not never winner or any of those games where you can suddenly become way better by paying more. So you'd never worry about that. Um, and so that price increase will lead us into why we want to do the price increase, which is the seven day. <clears throat> so, and, uh, since there is, since it is a seven day, we want to be more comparable to other lar uh, large scale events yeah. in, in the continental U S uh, more walls, obviously, uh, we need a ditch light solution that's effective and large, yeah. uh, because we cannot ignore the night fighting culture. Um, always more field props. Uh, we want to add some sturdy, not crappy boats. We have a uh, bad guy has designed a great design for boats that's unseen in a dagger here before that is great and will, probably won't lead you to friggin' holding around a floppy, crappy PVC thing. And you can still fight with it. Mm. Always better tournament prizes. A big thing is we're trying by Dark Tides to be 100% paperless troll. Yes. So, yeah, I, I would prefer personally if you never have to have a piece of paper again because I hate keeping track of them. Um, hopefully with any luck sometime over the winter or hopefully in the next month or so, which would be awesome. We'll start creating a database yeah. and we'll start pushing for you guys to, uh, not necessarily pre-register for dark tides, which would be awesome. Uh, but to start filling out your waivers in advance online and building the database so that you just don't have to anymore. Yeah. Uh, the worst case scenario is at an event, you'll have to either digitally or physically sign your initials on a piece of paper to say my waiver is accurate. And then you're just like, Oh, Here's my money, or you have my money, here's my initials, go. Yeah. Troll take 30 seconds. Yeah, you can ask people, you know, if you know somebody who's pre regged before, it tends to make things so much simpler. Um, you know, and not that I don't love seeing you guys sitting in front of a table from me, from me for like 10 minutes, but it's way, way better. We, we, um, our <clears throat> showers are, are good for most Dagger Here events, because most Dagger Here events don't have showers at all, but we are talking with the site about improving the, uh, uh, the size and yeah. power of the uh, uh, um, water heaters, which probably happened in one bathroom side, then the other probably men's first because of the quantity of men. Yeah. Um, but we are in talks with that, and actually the, that $5 increase would be a huge step in that direction. And there's also, um, we've talked about like extending the Wi-Fi range, which would help our merchants, as well as I know some people do need Wi-Fi. I know it's camping, I understand. However, a lot of merchants, um, being able to take cards is consistent on having a Wi-Fi that can actually reach. So that's another thing we've been talking about as well. So there's there's a few things that, you know, we've got. If you want to see the full list, just go look at the poll. It's on the ORE page. Um, but that would be what we're looking for for the seven day. We want to make the seven day, when it does happen, it needs to be one of the better ones everybody's been to. Absolutely. That's the end of it. Um, and speaking of that seven day, um, so there will probably be a Dark Tides Day there, which will be Dark Tides theme, where we have, like, Dark Tides Probably Adventure battles. Time. Yeah. Um, mathematical. Or hybrid. Yeah. So, algebraic. Um, so then there will be, you know, that style. But the other days, we are looking for units to take over. Um, you know, if you need ORE Heralds, if you need ORE Battles written up, and you guys just want to do the heralding, or just want to do the, the checking on that day, or whatever you want to do, 
it would be great to have units step up and be able to do that, and it would be your day. We don't have to write the battles, you know. Well, so we will overview them to make sure for clarity, and we do have our standardized terrain because yeah. that is a thing that's consistent in all ORE events. If, if you've been to more than one, you'll see the high walls are always high walls, low walls are always low walls, right. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we want to make sure that we don't have like twenty bridge battles that happen every day. Yeah, I like. I'm totally cool writing all the battles and just having people run them, but I would totally love not to have to do that. Yes. So if you're interested in that, you know, have your your unit leaders come talk to us, um, whether on the ORE page or yeah, yeah, it is. to the ORE page. Yeah. Um, then the next thing. Um, so we're gonna be doing more of these videos. That's why we're trying to keep this one short. <laughs> not very good job. <laughs> so anyway. Um, we're going to try to do them like quarterly and introduce you guys to our staff because at this point, you know, Odd is really the biggest figurehead that most of you know of. Because I yell a lot. Yeah, it's true. And then, um, you know, I kind of am back there and then there's a few others that, you know, you guys know of, like the player who plays Winston or you might know Mia or yeah, you might know Chongo. Like Winston is our head of NPCs. Yeah. And that is his it. I field a lot of NPC questions but at the end of the day. That's his department. Right. So um, we want you guys to meet our staff um, because we're, they're awesome people. So we're going to see about making more videos so that you can actually get to know them, get to know what they do. So that way if you do have questions, you can go, oh, that's the person I talk to. Instead of always coming to us and us having to tell you that way. Yeah. Um, so that brings us to townies, actually, speaking of Winston. So um, there's a new process that we're talking about because people have come to us and said they want to be NPCs. A lot. A lot. Um, so basically, what townies are is how to get your foot in the door into being an NPC. It's uh, the very first step. Uh, um, for me, they're disposable assets, which is you need when you're running a story. Um, we're, we're doing pretty good with this. Uh, 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 <laughs> Sorry, ADD. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> when we're, uh, uh, we're doing pretty pretty good at like creating like settings and the like with the field maps. But um, what it's coming down to is the world still isn't feeling populated. And um, some players, but not a lot of players yet, have started to adapt their character histories to match our setting. Which is growing and is being worked on. Literally, was being worked on the day I came back from Dark Tides. So, uh, from Honos, has been being worked on nonstop. Everything um, is Dark Tides. Everything is Dark Tides. <laughs> um, but but anyway, uh, it'll be players would have to garb themselves as equivalent to something uh, as a character from the setting. I mean, eventually you use this as your own stuff as as whatever. But the first time is not free. You, dread, you get yourself towny stuff, and you have to be uh, well aware of the, at least a passing knowledge of everybody not in your culture that you choose, and an intimate knowledge of the culture you choose uh, for, for Dark Tides. And we literally have you walking around talking to people about the setting. Also, uh, you could very well be quest givers or quest executioners at, and, uh, um, and heralds during adventure time. Which, is, which, believe it or not, is really some of the funnest things to do... Uh, if you're MPCing at an event, is you get to mess with people and they thank you for it later. Uh, and getting some townies uh, would actually be great. Like, after you, if you're set up and you know the stuff and you're not messing with the game in a negative way, like we're going to let you be a townie. We're it's it's going to be it's going to happen. And uh, if you have the MPC titles that allow you to get more money for MPC work, it actually does count uh, towards your extra monies. So. Uh, yeah. Another thing that uh, Odd has been really, really bugging on, so that uh, I'll bring it up as well. Um, art. We know we've got some fantastic artists um, that you know exist in our in our community, and we've been asking before for art work to possibly put in the books to use for media purposes. And we've gotten a little. We've gotten a little bit. We know there's more because we keep getting messages about I would love to, and then it doesn't happen. Um, so, I mean, we know real life and all, but... To the fact that I'm jaded. I'm, like, so sad. Yes. Like, so... I see the beginnings of sketches, but I never see the end. Yes. So, if, you know, you're interested, there are... I, I believe you do have bonuses, right? You get benefits and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I hand out player coin like crazy. Yeah. Because uh, you got a hard one for art. All right, I do. so... And any good RPG book has art. So, anyway, um, yeah, if you're, if you're an artist, you know, feel free. Message us. Let us know. We'll definitely give you credit, um, you know, so that you can work towards things. If there any, if you want Dark Tides coins, you know, we can definitely fit, fit you in with some of that. So 
I don't know. We could even possibly discuss if we if we get a lot of art out of a person of a discount to come into the event. Yeah, we can and discuss money, that because I'll give you both. I want art that bad. <laughs> so, um, and then our last part. So, thankfully, this video is about over. We will bring up is volunteering. We have people come to us constantly that are like, "I want to help. I want to help. I want to help." Um, well, the problem is you come to us in an event, and mm -hmm. yeah, that that's great. You know, hey, we, cool. You want to herald this this battle that and that such whatever. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking around it, apparently. Um, but anyway, that that's great. You know, we love that on-the-spot kind of help. But we've also had people that go, oh, I want to help Ori more. And then we kind of don't hear from them between events. <laughs> or we'll hear from them. And they kind of hit, like, a week before the event. And we're like, everything's done. You know, or yeah. we're rushing too much to explain how to do this right at this moment. <laughs> so if you're wanting to volunteer... Because I know there's some people out there. Um, Requirement one, read the rule book. Yeah. <laughs> read, read the rule book. I've been considering having read the rule book parties at the event. Yeah. Oh, great. There goes Wednesday. <laughs> All right. So the other part is uh, you have to work Dark Tides. Um, to become a member of ORE, you must work a Dark Tides. Like right now, Vulcan and Direct technically are not um, full ORE members because they have well, not worked a Dark Tides. They, they worked last Dark Tides. Both well... Not in the ORE. Yeah, fair enough. So, sorry guys. Yeah. Anyway. Um, you're so in, you're, just the tip. Just to see how it feels. So, you'll want to do what you want to do is you want to message us on Facebook and let us know what kind of skills, what kind of thing you want to bring to the ORE. If it's something we don't have yet, you know, it's possible we could bring it up. We, we let the entire ORE have a say on who comes into the ORE because it's not just us. And that, that is a negative aspect of it as well. Like, some people have, like, hostile personalities. I guess I got in before that became a thing. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but if you can't get along, uh, you, you can't be in the ORE. You gotta, it's gotta be professional. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, we will have arguments, and we will have this and this and that, but you gotta be at least adult enough to realize that sometimes that argument needs to die. And, you know, you gotta be willing to cooperate with other people. You gotta be willing to coordinate with other people. This is not alone the thing um and it's also fairly thankless job um i know people will come up and say thanks and stuff and, and we appreciate that we really there's do. a there's a reason i say every time someone says thank you i say it's a whole team i'm just loud like i'll i will point you out at the event you need to thank that person that person that person that person that yeah. person because it's not just me again just loud. Yeah, and you and you know we do get the thank yous and everything, but what I mean by a thankless job is there's a lot of hours that you have to convince yourself you're still doing this to make things better for other people coming to the event. And if you don't have that kind of selfless thing to you, or at least you can't find a reason that that selfless thing can work for you, then it's probably not the thing for you. And you need to be able to try to come to all ORE events. You yeah. have to work Dark Tides. Yeah. Everyone in the ORE works Dark Tides. No choice. It's super labor intense. Probably one of the hardest events to run in all of Dagger here. Probably. Um, uh, and we want you at least to be at Honos if you can. Yeah. Especially if you're if you're planning on being a townie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to volunteer, if there's something you want to help with, oh god, I would love to help with weapons strike. Oh, I love crafting. You know, oh, I want to help with the world building, whatever. Oh, that being said, if you want to craft and, and give things to us, that's great. We appreciate that. But we don't really count it as us having it until it's in our hands. Right. So if you're like, oh, I'm going to craft and donate to the ORE, I'll bring it to the event, we count as it not being real. You need to mail it to us. Yeah, because we have had one too many times of, I'll bring it to the event and it doesn't get done. You know, and real life happens, but that puts us at a standstill. <laughs> where where, where are my weapons tags? Where, Whoa, that one. Where are our event tags? Yeah, that one was fun. <laughs> Where are the coins? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> Welcome to All the work. fires. Put out the fires. Anyway, so I think that's enough. Yeah, I, I gotta go. The, shit the beacons are lit. Look how pale she is. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, he's the one lit up right yeah. now. Yeah. Hey, if I moved out of the direct sunlight, though. Anyway, so <laughs> I suppose uh, at this point we are probably done. So uh, I'm going to go step aside, and I think you're going to do the same. So uh, see you guys. Yep.